In this video I will show you how to write an Android Flash app. Uh, here's my Flash app here in the background. That's my smartphone. And on the smartphone I may push that button and um, maybe you may see it that, uh, that the Flash uh, goes on here on the top. Maybe it's visible on there uh, that the flash here, the flash is on and I may switch it on and off by this one, by this big button. And furthermore, I have a strobo uh, impulsor there which says, okay, if you uh, click on there, I can show it here uh, because it's uh, in real time, the flash is always going on and off. Uh, yeah, you may see it there. Um, there's a pulse. It always go. It's always opening and closing, closing, and I may set up the pulse there, so the pulse goes quite fast now. I can't show it. Uh, unfortunately, it's not visible on the emulator. And uh, I'll switch it off, and everything is gone. Now, how does it work? Um, for this one, I have the code on my website and. Uh, I will explain the code now in my in the application. So what we have there is uh, first when we write a flashlight in our Android application, then we have to go to the uh, we create an application and then we go to Android Manifest XML. And there we drop this line, uh, the permission that we need the flashlight. So otherwise it's not possible. And the flash flashlight is bound to the camera. So uh, because an Android application does, uh, doesn't have a flashlight for free, it's uh, always an additional stuff of, of a camera. So we go now to our uh, to the activity main XML where all those buttons are defined and all this stuff. And what we what I have there is we have here a toggle button. This one I said this is a toggle button. Uh, simply drop it in your application, and the toggle button uh, is in the activity. And there I said okay, uh, the on click equals button toggle light. Toggle the light, switch the light on and off. And below there I have a switch button. The switch button um, does the same, similar the same. It says on click switch impulses. And there are two uh, seek bars. Seek bars are those sliders and I said there is a, a milliseconds bro the progress. So this is the position where it is. It is on 1000 and maximum uh, is also a thousand and this is for the first one the high impulse so when the light comes and the light goes on so I close this again and now we go to the uh, main activity now comes a little bit of code and all this stuff first I said it's always important to have the on create and on in the on create we say uh, please give me a switch uh, toggle switch or and the button the button toggle light and then I said okay when we uh, uh, we we look for first also for the uh, for the seek bar so there's two seek bars the high seek bar or high impulse and the low impulse so high is when the light is on and low is when the light is off and then I said okay find this by ID and if you have found it, then uh, take the, the maximum value for the beginning is a variable, which is here uh, int variable milliseconds high is 1000. And when we start the uh, layout, the activity, then set it to the maximum value, which we have set in the front layout. And then I say uh, seek bar dot uh, set seek bar on change listener. I think you know how this works. Seek bar. <coughs> when we have the seek bar, we say listen on the on change listener. This one equals uh, 
uh, equals new is a new on change listener. So when you type this, uh, the uh, the developer uh, Android Studio developer is very easy to handle. So when you type it on there, you will see there comes the pop up. So and now I said okay a new when I have this one set the on change listener and then the, it, this is a new on change listener and then we have those three automatically these three override methods and one is the on progress changed and whenever we slide with the slider bar whenever we are here and slide something there. This is the progress bar. So this is the progress which happens. And then we say uh, the second parameter which comes in is millisecond uh, is the progress position. And we say, okay, uh, I have 1000 and this is milliseconds. Quite good. Uh, one thousand milliseconds are one second. And then I place it into my local variable which is written with the underscore. So this is my local variable, which is uh, all the way here around. So they do the same for the low and also for the high uh, seek bar. And when we have this one, we will say, okay, now um, we need the flashlight. Where is the flashlight? First, we have to do the following. We have to say, uh, is there a flashlight available? <clears throat> Normally, I think all 100,000% <laughs> the flashlight is always there. Get package manager, that's a default uh, code. Uh, to check for the feature camera flash. If it's there, then you may handle it. Then we say we need a camera manager. So I said, okay, here I need a I said I make a local variable camera manager, which is camera manager. And we say, uh, since it's bound on the on the system, we have to say camera manager, give me a camera service if there's one there. And if we find a mechanic uh, manager, then we take the first uh, camera and then we have a camera and then we may switch the light on for this camera. That's uh, quite complicated, but we need a camera manager. And then on a later position, we will say, doo -doo 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 -doo. this is the camera uh, manager and set the torch mode of this camera to enabled true, and then to set it off. So this is switching, switching it on and off. And uh, there's also a try and catch Sometimes it does, that doesn't work. Uh, in my case, it always works. So we have here, uh, if you uh, try to switch it on, and if there's an error, print the error in the uh, print stack. So this is, uh, this is default functions. Now we say, okay, when we have the camera manager, uh, we check for the camera ID. We need this for the switching on and off. That's what we learned now. And now I said, okay, when the, when the, uh, here, the activity down here, when somebody switches on there, there, when you sit, then it comes the event button toggle light. Now I said button toggle light, go jump to the method, uh, flashlight main. So this is a main flashlight function or method and there this one says if the toggle bar is pressed then uh, check if the switcher is on if the switcher below there is on if this one uh, do we have a scroller mode with on and off or do we have a fixed mode with flash on and off uh, switching default by, by the button so if it's true um, and the switcher is uh, not on, then like this, then switch the light on. That's the method what we, what we have seen. Switch it on. We say camera, switch it on. And then on the other position, we say switch the, the light off if the button is off. And then we have one. So this works quite good, easy, easy stuff. This works and you get the application. 
um, on that point. So if we push that button, I think this is default, push on and off and on and off. You would see on my light, uh, on, on my left side, the, the button always goes on and off. The light goes on and off. So this is my new application. Now we also have the impulse strobo effect, which is very small impulses. They run now on the left side. They working now. I'm switching that stuff off. And how does it work? This is my start flash impulse. And now this is important because we have here a timer. Always timers are always difficult in uh, Android. And so we do the following. We have the timer. Okay, there it is. We need to say in this method, uh, start the flash impulse of the high impulse that they switch it on. Then we say, if one of the bar, uh, toggles is off, then do nothing and stop the an impulse. Zack, 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 zack. So impulse on, impulse off. There's always a loop between the, there's a start and a low, high and low and high and low. And now we say, if um, create a new timer and then timer the timer uh, push one impulse, one impulse, no nothing else. So this is only one uh, time. So when we, with a time delay, <laughs> that's more exact. So we say schedule one and throw the, uh, the impulse. And this variable, this uh, variable has to be set inside this method. First, I worked for several hours and had this outside as a public uh, timer. And I thought, okay, start, stop, and all this stuff. You have to have it inside here. And now it pulls, uh, it pushes one one uh, timer impulse. And after the impulse, it's gone away. So this is, you always jump in here, you're doing that stuff, and then the, the impulse is away. This is very important. Okay, now we say new timer. Create a new timer for this. When you come in, create a new timer. Schedule it for one se uh, for the amount which is on set on our on that slider. What the, the slider? This one on the, this amount in milliseconds. So this is in milliseconds. And then we say inside there we have a great new timer task. A curly bracket, curly bracket, and inside overrun. So this is uh, when you type this. In uh, Developer Studio makes it automatically for you this uh, override uh, void run. So this is the timer and the timer throws a run method. And this one works really great. And then we say switch the camera on and then jump to the low, um, uh, to the low pulse. So this is the low pulse and then to the high pulse. Low, high, low, high. And finally, if nothing, uh, if ever, if the button is off, then um, don't, uh, then stop this toggling around. And this works very uh, fine. And I throw, uh, I throw the the code for my application here on my website. So may you may uh, find the code, the link on below the video. And uh, I explain to you how it works. Now this is the. This is the code for the activity. Drop it in your application, and then we have the code for for the uh, XML file front front page, the activity. Drop all that stuff in there, and then also the um, the in the manifest, and then you have a great application. And if you liked it, then make a subscription.